All right, guys, I'm going to try something for the very first time. I've had quite a few people asking me over the recent years, why don't you use a safety razor? Well, the answer to that is just because I never have. I've always used, since I started shaving, I've always used, you know, pretty much just disposable uh, razors like Gillette and, and Bic and so on and so forth. And, and even in my previous head shaving videos, you can see that I use a Harry's razor a lot. Uh, but the question kept coming up over and over, why don't you use a safety razor? Now I have no idea the age of these men they're asking, but the reason why I mentioned that is because when I think of a safety razor, I think of my father or my grandfather. And I remember them having safety razors, and I was always considered it just a relic of the past. But because it still seems to be a thing, and there are videos out there of people using them, I thought I'd try one for myself. Now, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous about it because, you know, with a razor, it does take time to develop a feel for them. And I've been very careful of my head, or at least I tried to be, because over the years I have made mistakes. I've shared this with you and shown you how you can mitigate uh, cutting yourself, uh, you know, reducing ingrown hairs and razor burn. So, uh, you know, I don't know that my skin is used to this kind of a blade. So what I did was I went to, when I was at Target with my wife, uh, I went to the men's section to find out if they had anything new. They did have safety razors, so I just picked up the one I saw there. I didn't do a lot of research on which one was the best one, but this is, uh, I think you say it, Vanderhagen or Vanderhagen. Uh, it sounds very Dutch to me. In fact, it has a Dutch windmill. If you guys haven't seen my video of uh, the Dutch windmill that I visited in Holland, Michigan, you need to. I'll put that at the end of the video. But, uh, so it sounds very Dutch, and... Uh, I don't know much about it, but I'm going to try it here for the very first time with you guys. It says on the back of the box, uh, it has a butterfly opening for a quick blade change, which I think is quite common with these. Uh, single blade for superior edge edging and trimming, helps minimize skin irritation, razor bumps, and ingrown hairs. So we'll see. You know, I don't know why that would be necessarily superior to the disposable razors, but We'll, we'll find out. Now, let, let me tell you something. Leave your comments down below. If you're familiar with how using a safety razor, if you have experience with it, and you know better than I do, share that with me. Leave it in the comments section down below. Make sure you like the video too, by the way, while you're there. Um, and it says it includes five German-made ice, well, I guess this is German. Five German-made ice-tempered stainless steel razor blades. German, that's where my, 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 uh, my family going back over generations comes from Germany. Something I'm kind of quite proud of. So anyway, I'm going to open this box and I'm going to go through it here. I have opened it before. I just reassembled it to show you what it looks like. I will put a link down below in the description so that you can um, get this for yourself. You can go to Target and get it or you can, don't have to leave your house. You can just click on that link and get it. So here's the razor. Here's the cartridges. This little orange box here. To be honest with you, when I first opened this up, I had a difficult time uh, just getting this open. Like I really struggled with, I did, I really struggled with this little door opening up. But you just have to put your thumb on this and just push and push until it pops open. It, it, listen, that's probably not gonna happen to everybody. That's just the way things go with me. I'm, I'm, I make myself look like an idiot when I try new things. So anyway, there's these five blades in here. I'm gonna take out one and lay the box aside. It's very, very flexible. See, I have no, no, I have nothing to compare this to. I'm surprised that it's that flexible. I thought it would be a little bit harder. So I'm gonna open this up. This, all you have to do is unscrew this right here and the bay doors open up. Look at that, okay. I know, I know. Some of you are probably thinking, Greg, I've been doing this for years. That ain't nothing. I know, it's kind of cool to me though because it's completely new to me. I don't want to do any of this wrong. So listen, I'm gonna grab it by the sides like this, not by these sides. I'm gonna cut myself, so I'm just gonna insert this here. Because it seems pretty much straightforward. You can just slip it onto there. Slip it onto there and close it, right? Okay. 
There you go. Man. Okay, so the blade is revealed on both sides. I can see an advantage in that. Switching sides and maybe you can rinse off, you know, uh, not quite as often, you can switch sides. I don't know, we'll, we'll try that and find out. So the handle is shorter than I'm used to, I'll have to admit. So we're gonna shave, my, I'm gonna shave my head. I've already been in the shower this morning, so the pores have opened up. I'm running hot water. I'm not gonna soak my head, but I am gonna get it wet enough to be able to lubricate uh, my head with the shaving cream. Now most of you know that I recommend shaving with conditioner. Uh, and um, and I and I still abide by that advice, but today I'm going to use Arnius Man shaving cream uh, because it's uh, just more visible. My head is used to a razor, so you know using conditioner is really good for guys who are shaving your, their head for the very first time or for the very first few years uh, because you need your head to get used to that that blade. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Rub it around. Oh, I didn't show you the uh, receptacle that this uh, this shaving cream comes in. Now, I know you can use a brush to rub the shaving cream into your head. I do realize that. That's another thing I've never really done, and guys have recommended that highly to me. So maybe I'll check that out in a future video. I'm doing this all over. Let me rinse this off and show you. I'll show you the shaving cream. I mean, rather than just on top of my head, how it, how it comes. This is the Arteus Man Tea Tree Mint Shaving Cream. I really like this a lot. Uh, the shaving cream, not only is it uh, very smooth, makes the blade glide over the skin easily, but it has a nice cooling effect. They have two different scented shaving creams. I do recommend checking them out. So let's start. I'm just gonna shave against the grain because my hair's not really grown out that far. I wanna be careful with this, so I shouldn't have to rinse and re-lather. I'm just gonna start, well, I, I might start down here. I always tend to start right around here. Uh, and there's, it doesn't seem hard. It doesn't seem hard at all, any harder than a regular razor. But uh, let me go to the other side. I'm trying to establish my my line where my sideburn is because I have a beard. Not everybody's going to have this uh, same issue because not all of you guys are are bald and bearded. Uh, let me go to the very top and just start going away. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be careful because, like I said, I'm kind, I'm kind of nervous about this. I I don't know the feel of these kind of razors, so. You're watching me experience this for the very first time. All right, I'm gonna go against the grain. You can kind of see what, how this feels. Oh, nothing complicated. Take one long stroke. Well. Hmm, that went pretty easy. That was pretty easy. But I think with this blade so far, my limited experience is telling me maybe shorter strokes might be better. Just working my way back. And then revisiting it with a longer Stroke. Yeah, I like that. Feels pretty good. It doesn't feel very foreign. As to whether it's superior or not, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. It's different. I tell you what I do like about this so far. That this is this curved head right here. It makes it easier to 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 work the blade off the skin in a very easy manner, easy fashion. And I'm probably doing this slower than I need to, but I'm just being extra cautious. 
I feel like I sound like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Where he's trying to feel like, he's trying to experience what it feels like to be a man. So he, <laughs> he's talking his way through the experience of shaving as if he was making a commercial of some sort, some kind of infomercial. Hey, you know what? That's pretty nice. That is a really nice. I guess I could turn this blade around or turn the head around and maybe reduce my time. That, that, I don't know why I didn't do that from the very beginning, but I'm doing it now. I do not, look, the way this feels right here, I do not feel in fear of cutting myself. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of it being a safety razor, right? But I don't try to overestimate things or even my own ability to be able to do things right the first time. You know, I can get used to this actually. I like the way that feels. It's definitely different. Definitely feels different to me than a disposable razor. Probably need to go against the grain by swiping up rather than to the side, but sometimes this does help. Uh, by just going sweeping back. I'll go I'll read I'll go back and go up in just a minute. Yeah, so you know what, this is, if you've never used a safety razor and you trust what I'm saying, uh, take my word for it, I don't feel, I don't any longer feel nervous about what I'm gonna do with this. So maybe you'll give this a try too. Let me do this. Let me go up. Turn this around. Yeah, I have to admit, it does feel a little more safe. It's taking me a little bit to get used to the shorter handle. But I don't think that's going to be a thing. All right. Hope you can see that all right. Like I said, this is taking me longer because this is my first time. So don't assume it's gonna be that way for you. It's, it's just me. And just making the video. The back of your head, it, you do really have to rely on the sense of touch. Um, you don't have any way of making a mirror. You're an ally when you're doing this.
And another thing is I'm, I'm, not, I'm not applying a lot of pressure. Uh, one, because I am trying to be really careful. It's a new razor, a new kind of razor for me. But I don't apply a lot of pressure to a razor anyway when I, when I shave my head, just because it's just not good to do that. It's the quickest way to cut yourself. Being that this has five, they offer five blades in this package, I, uh, I'm curious as to what the longevity of each blade is. And if it's gonna be a more economical. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to calculate in my head. Like, uh, you know, what this costs compared to a package of disposable razors. I don't know. I guess it's something I can give you an update on. Makes me wonder kind of what I've been missing. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get the head wet again a little bit. It's starting to dry just a little bit, but I'm just applying a little bit of water to re-moisturize it, keep it lubricated. When I make these head shaving videos, I have a tendency to want to move faster for you guys so that I'm not taking up a lot of your time. Uh, but I, I got to keep reminding myself that just, it's just not worth it to do that because you could end up hurting yourself. So bear with me. Okay, so my problem areas on my head are right across the top right here, uh, where just uh, I, I have to constantly go over to get a closer shave. I'm not concerned about making my head shine, which it inevitably will have a, a glow or a gloss to it when I'm done and I apply after shave. But um, that's not my goal. My goal is not to make my head look like a beacon in the night. Uh, some guys are very preoccupied by that, but I'm not. I, uh, I'm not concerned about taking the shave all the way down to the skull. I swear some people are just obsessed with that. You don't need to do that. I mean, within 12 hours, you're going to have growth anyway. Within 12 hours. And I only shave like once or twice a week. Because I prefer to have some growth to take back, you know? And I kind of like the way a stubble look. Well, how I kind of like the way stubble looks. You know, a lot of people do. Women certainly like it. Okay, so I'm just kind of feeling with my fingers, you know, some of the places that could use it a little bit closer. I'm hitting that. And, you know what? I'd say that this is a success. I'd say this is a go. I really like this and I, can, I'll, I think I'll definitely use it more often. So, uh, that's what I think of this. What do you guys think? It's got a nice, I, I, I've got good coverage. I mean, it's, it's really, I'm not looking nice. Now on the video, you see more dark than I do in person. Okay, just, just the way, just the way the camera 
especially the iPhones, makes everything appear. All the, with iPhones, all your blemishes in your face come out. You see things that you don't see in person. So I'm not so sure that you're seeing 100% what I'm seeing, but it's pretty close. I really like this razor. Yeah, feels good. I'll be using it in the future. Let me rinse off a little bit. And dry my head off. So that's my first experience with a safety razor. And um, it's pretty cool. I like it. It makes me wonder why I didn't do it before, honestly. The only other thing is, and I, and I couldn't tell you this now, is is it gonna be more economical? Are the blades really, how, how are they gonna hold up over time? And uh, I've got a few ideas about that, how making them last and whatnot. I'll probably make videos about that. but. Anyway, I, I, uh, I'm glad I tried it. And I'm, I'm glad that uh, people kept asking me because it did compel me to um, take some kind of action. So now I'm gonna use some Artius Man Aftershave Tea Tree Mint because it is nice and cooling. Uh, up around, now I will, what I will do is I will, I will um, shave my, cheek line and my neckline likewise i just won't do it here in this video uh, i just wanted to try the head shave in front of you guys for the very first time and see what you thought give me your recommendations and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions let me know and i'll try to respond to them and and, and probably will do so on video so Anyway, that's a, that's a wrap, guys. I've enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. Try, have you tried a safety razor? Will you do it now that you've seen me do it? So, all right. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.